For the last 30 years, a little coffee shop with a lot of flair has served the city of Tempe, Arizona. From outside, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but stepping inside is like stepping into sacred space. Stained glass windows and art pieces cover the walls, but the main feature is the bar where coffee beans undergo alchemy to become liquid gold. Gold Bar Espresso is a great place to write on Wednesday. Open since 1994, Gold Bar is located on the northeast corner of Southern and McClintock. It was once housed on the opposite corner where Extreme Bean is now. Gold Bar is close enough to Arizona State University for students to spend time there, but far enough that people of all ages frequent its corners. Until very recently, it shared the plaza with a Starbucks. Starbucks has since moved across the street. The first time I saw Gold Bar, I assumed in error that it was the kind of bar with a liquor license. Imagine my surprise in 2014 when someone invited me to have coffee there. Tables of various sizes line the walls with a mix of hard and cozy chairs. On the left, in the back, is a nook for playing games, having a conversation out of sight, or enjoying cozy solo time. The main space features a pastry case and a long counter, behind which the ever-friendly baristas work their caffeine brewing magic. The baristas take their kindness cues from their employers, Dennis and Karen Miller. Dennis and Karen have owned Gold Bar for a quarter century. In April, the Gold Bar Facebook page gave them a shout out for the celebration of their 50th wedding anniversary. The coffee and tea menus there are two of the most extensive of any coffee shop in Tempe. Punch cards with hand-drawn designs are available, and once you've bought 10 beverages, you get the next one for a dollar, or an uber-sized drink, 24 ounces, for a dollar fifty. They also have specials on certain days of the week, like Pastry Punch Monday, which involves a punch on your punch card for any pastry you buy, and Free Shot Friday, which grants you an extra shot of espresso to your beverage, free of charge. Gold Bar has been known for open mic and jazz nights, bringing in a variety of performers. A dear friend of mine fiddled there one night and had the whole place bouncing. I've visited Gold Bar dozens of times over the years. I worked through the artist's way with my fiddling friend there over the course of a year. And I've also had countless writing group and solo writing sprints there. Their hot 16 ounce latte in one of their thick mugs is part of my ritual when I go there to write. The coffee shop in my young adult novel, Playing Gauche, is inspired by Gold Bar. If you're looking for a quirky place to write that will welcome you with open arms, Gold Bar may be just your place. If you enjoyed this video, you can hit like and subscribe to receive more videos about intriguing places to write on Wednesday. Thanks for watching.